Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take a more deeper tour around my workshop workroom. Actually it's just a big living room that we made into this workroom. Um, so I'm gonna turn over and uh, you're gonna see what I see. So hang on. Hello everyone. Let's start over here with my computer, my um, big screen and my drawing screen and my cutter and my sublimation printer and my normal printer and I use that for making my videos or paper crafting and stuff like that. So we don't want to go more into detail about that place so we're just turning around and here we have my watchmaker stand. So I need to do more stuff about that because I have an open shelf right here and I have a lot of open place here on the walls uh, where I want some more clocks in. But I kind of uh, ran out of energy on that one. So, you know, when you push yourself on a piece of uh, um, creation piece and you push yourself because you want to do it but you don't really want to, then you kind of run low on energy on that project. And I did that on the watchmaker stem, but I will get back to it one time sooner than later. I have my laptop, my new laptop. I have a webcam in this one and my new mouse. And that's what I'm using for uh, recording my lives. So that will be standing right here on the desk, right here, the laptop, and I'm of course sitting here and recording so that's my workspace and I have a few videos that I am working on you will see that later anyway here I have my paint palette where I have my paint brushes uh, and they're all over right now and of course I have the wet palette down here I really love this one I'm not using it as a wet palette that often but um, I often use it to have my paints on uh, here I have some things standing for a customer. So let's see, uh, in this one I have my Warhammer paint. So these are just um, these plastic boxes uh, where you can get these um, different size, sized uh, rooms for. And I really love these boxes here. Uh, there is a name on one of them, I'm pretty sure. But that's my uh, Warhammer paint, or actually it's more uh, the Citadel paint now. They changed their name. And a few extra um, pencils. Uh, I don't see the name of this box system anywhere. It's normally on there. Uh, but I will figure that out and tell you what it's called. And these box systems comes with a box where you can have four of these drawers in. And I think that's so neat. So this is my done projects, small things, or done projects, done uh, canes and stuff like that. So I have different kinds of uh, canes that are ready for my different projects so that I don't have to make a new cane each time. So that's a lot of different things in there. I have some uh, different cool uh, nail art beads here that I like to uh, decorate few things with. Some uh, soft flower, uh, I forgot the name of those, but that's um, pretty neat for making flowers. I have some grass and I was working on some roses once for a video and here is the rest of those. Um, small angel wings, gold wings. I really like these. I just never did anything with those. I have a few leaf cutters, miniature leaf cutters, some greenery. It's all fake. And of course more uh, kings. This is small flax and Christmas candies in all different kinds of shapes and things. I have some scenery grass. I have all my male uh, electrical plugs here. Some in white and some in black. And I have uh, small different things. I have some snow. 
and some more oh that's coffee grounds some more scenery things and small rocks just tiny rocks because you never know when you need a rock that is tiny and some thin um, wire over here let me put that back in there so that's my um, ready canes and um, my uh, greenery for when I make something like a garden or something like that I don't do that that often but here and there this is uh, small things that's what's standing right there smutty small things so here I have a few different things in. I have some uh, seaweed or grass or what they're called. Some small clams. I have a form for making um, um, wood baskets of these. I have some decoration tapes. I like this one because it looks like um, a food labeling, vintage stuff like that. Some small googly eyes. I don't know why they're in here, but they are. A few different kind of labels that I have been uh, printing out with the years and saved so that I don't have to print them out again. I have a friend that has a bird and she picked up a lot of these small feathers here. And if you can get guess what bird that is, then tell me in the info box below. Uh, but these tiny tiny feathers here are perfect for a few things in miniature i have these acupuncture needles because um they can be good for a lot of things small elastics uh, i got them from my daughter when she was younger and had the braces on uh, and when she didn't use those anymore i got the rest of those different um small parts for the clock uh, that I got for my watchmaker stem. Here I have some small wheels and some braids and stuff like that. Some pottery I uh, got from a friend of mine. Uh, and I have some plastic straws here in a lot of different sizes because they can be really good for a lot of different things lids for these small glass drawers i have quite a few of those different and bigger glass drawers in here different uh things small plates that i made for my microwave and um just a bowl i have and a bigger glass i actually think i use those for the brains that i once made but i'm not sure i think this one is actually bigger Yes, this is bigger as the ones I used for the brains, but I think it's uh, neat. So I um, saved it for something one day. Let's put that back again. Take the next one here. Whoops. So this is tools for my uh, polymer clay. And I have a lot of things, some spare knives. Uh, the top for my knife and then I have some bigger ball tools here I have a fun roller tools where I can put another piece on here I can uh, screw that off and put another one on there some um, I forgot the, the word for that um, silicone tools and I have this one this is um, for rooting hairs on a doll I have some knife blades and here are the tools for that uh, pen for this one this one and you can just put these tools in there instead oh let me show you so I have these tools for this one so you can uh, put them on there instead and this one is empty then I have my uh, smaller cutters and I have some other colors cutters this one I made for the time oops this one this one I made for the time where I made um, ice cream cones so that I had somewhere to place my cones while baking or while showing forth and stuff like that so I made that one and I'm keeping that you never know when you're going to use it again 
different cutters and these are hole punchers. Uh, they are actually for leather but I found that they are perfect for paper as well. Then I have some magnet, magnets, a bunch of those. Some of my favorite molds are for texturing things. I have that here. Um, this is actually a tool for the Dremel, but it makes a nice um, texture in a cookie or something. My toothbrush, another needle tool. I don't know if you can see the needle, but it's on there. And then a lot of different tools. There is a tiny hole puncher here. I'm not using this as much anymore because I have these right here. And again, some different texture things that I made once. The ball for making things that has this uh, inside rounded shape, uh, like small balls. More tools for making different things. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I think this was the inside of a oblong plate. And then I have some stamps that I made from some smaller things. And I have this one to uh, hold flowers while baking. The same with that one. So when you put flowers on a wire and you don't want to place them on the paper on the tray because uh, it's going flat, then um, that one is nice. I have the inserts for my clay extruder. And I have a few inserts here that I 3D printed and designed myself. Um, don't use them too often, but I have them. I hate uh, cleaning my clay extruder, so I'm not using it if I don't need to. So here I have all my beads and my jewelry things in there. So I have some real, real stones, um, but they are tiny and can be used in 1 to 12. And I have these uh, rhinestones. And this one was sent to me by mistake. I ordered these small ones. So I got these ones for free and these ones um, came to me later. So now I have big and small rhinestones. Some chain, you never know when to use that. Normally uh, small hammer beads, bigger hammer beads. And these are all glass beads. And they are all from AliExpress. Um, and these, uh, what you call these, I don't know the name of these, but uh, they are so good to have. And I have different sizes and shapes in here. Here I have some uh, smaller beads and I have jump rings in like a lot of sizes. I have eye pins and... Yes, um, these small stoppers and I have, this is for the earrings, but I make small lamps of these for 1 to 144 and a lot of different wires. So that's this one. Then I have the next one here, that's for my Dremel. I got all my Dremel stuff in here, like sandpapers, smaller bits, and bigger bits, and uh, I don't know the word for these. Some rough sandpaper here, and I have the small pieces for my Dremel. I have the pieces for the sand uh, papers that I have in three different sizes. I just got this tool the other day. Um, that's to put onto a piece of wood and you can go around it like making um, some patterns into the wood without cutting it um, and I'm gonna try that one day then I have this one this is a angle bit or what you call that you put that onto your Dremel and then you can kind of drill holes or whatever into corners where you can't get your Dremel in. You can put this one on and then you can get in there. Uh, I got that from my husband and I really like that one. So that was this one. Then I got my gel press in this one. 
Um, and uh, I don't think I've shown you this one because I don't use this for 1 to 12. But I use this here and there on my drawing channel. Let me take all of this out. So this one, it's hard to see, but that is my gel press. So it's protected here, but it's like really uh, gooey. Not sticky, but gooey. And then you just put some of the ink on it, roll it out with your briar. Uh, it's right here. There we are with my briar. I roll that out over the pad and then you can put a piece of paper on it and you get the um, colors from there uh, from on this one onto the paper and you can use stencils and stuff like that on it so I have a few stencils here I have more lying around I have a few um, here as well and some flowers and stuff like that and I have some heat powder also, but that is more for when I'm making cards or when I am drawing. So I'm just going to put that back. Oh, and this big piece with diff different uh, stencils that I have. And I'm going to put that one back. And now we're going to this drawer here. That's my electricity. So I have everything for uh, soldering. Um, different things here, soldering uh, thingies, I have the, oh, I don't know the names for these, but this is um, the goo you use for when you are soldering. I have that in here, I have some small wires for doll houses in different colors, I have on off switches, I have my uh, balloon lights and I have a few of my switches switch boxes ready here and some shrink tube for uh, connection on the wires I even have a um, oh, what's that called uh, these uh, break when the, the electricity is wrong then these uh, burn together instead of your bulbs um, I forgot the name of those uh, but that's what I have in here let me put that back in there back in place there we go that's something for a new project that I'm working on this one as well I have my pasta machine and it's nicely tight on my table so I know exactly where it is when I need it so I have a few things here. I have an idea book. I have some uh oh, some veneer that I'm using here and there for making floors. I have my magnetic glue jig right here. I have my book with prompts. Ugh, it's all turned over now. I have uh, this uh, bead collector. That's actually pretty neat. So if you have a lot of beads out, you can put them in here. Just take off the lid and you can um, put it in to the little jars or the bigger jars with these uh, endings here. Um, I have some sandpapers and I have some standing here for next year. <laughs> and I have a die cut standing here for some reason. That's not supposed to go in there. Put this back. There we go. Let me put this back in place. There we go. So that die cut needs to go somewhere else. Then I have my UV light right here. I have some wipe or uh, uh, baby wipes. I need those. I have my round light right here. I have my newest doll sitting right here in her little hammock or what you call that then i have just made this arch here this one i designed and 3d printed that and we glued on some leds so you can see it's like really lit up and it's going over turning around and going back over so there's two strips here um so that i can uh record right here with some really nice lighting on and I'm recording something right here 
And that's another project and that is some molds that I just got for Nicholas's scissors. My heat gun. I use that here and there to temporarily um, uh, bake my um, creations so I can work on them without smushing them but um, not baking them and waiting for that but uh, you always need to bake fully even though that you used your heat gun so always go back and bake fully then I have a lot of tools here I have a few projects that I'm working on and some tools and some sandpaper um, toothpicks I always have toothpicks in the near of me I have my small uh, sander um, my um, putty that's a filler putty my knife blades and my um, ruler this one is actually pretty pretty awesome because you can use that to mark off where to cut in a piece you are working on I have a few bamboo sticks oops sorry about that I have a few bamboo sticks and uh, old knitting pins here because I use them for different things uh, brushes and pencils uh, the tools that I'm using the most is standing right here and then some uh, tweezers in the last one. I hope you saw all that. Then over here I have all my female liquids, my Sculpey and I actually have a female liquid silver. I didn't try that out yet but I have it. I have some glaze that is a matte glaze and I have a Fimo um, um, glossy glaze here I have sandpaper that is um, some pre-made icing and some green thread for making flowers sandpapers, new knife blades I have silver and gold other way gold and silver ink and some uh, different uh, pearly colored. I have tiny beads here, a uh, caviar. I have a UV torch. I have this little thing because that can be uh, really good sometimes to make different kind of shavings of um, things that you are creating. I have that right there. Sandpaper, glass plates. And this is my, um, what's that called? A oh, clay softener. Then I have my mini uh, pencils right here, or brushes, call them what you want to. They are actually for nail art, but I'm using them for tiny details. They are really, really good. And this is my favorite, um, paint now the model color from uh, Vallejo because they are really really awesome colors and they are really uh, in different a lot of colors so I'm slowly going over to this colors uh, instead of the Citadel because I like these better because I can take a little drop of it and use that and take a little more if I need it and they are not drying out like the uh, Citadel are in their little um, container because you open the lid and it stays open and you have paint all over the lid and stuff like that. Then I have this one, the brush cleaner and that is expensive but it's worth every dime of it. I have another light over here that I'm always having turned on with when I'm working. Here I have a tray that I uh, 3D printed myself and uh, it says my tools and uh, here I have the um, the tools that I'm using most of the time. I have my Faber-Castell soft pastels here and uh, my daughter have a big bucket of these or a big the uh, that's twice the size of this one and I traded few colors with her so I have all the yellowies, the brownish, a few red, a few green and then simple blue and some black and gray here because that's the colors that I use the most. So she got all the really colorful ones because she likes that. 
uh, another few ideas for some future videos. Then over here I have my tray where I have my um, ceramic vat for um, uh, for baking things without making a flat surface underneath. You just put it on the vat and you will get the roundish shape that you put on there. It won't change the shape. And I have uh, this piece free because I like to have a place for things that needs to have a flat bottom. And this one is standing on a glass plate. This is one big glass plate right here. I have a few ideas here for videos. Because uh, this one is always a little greasy on the bottom. So I like to have it there so I don't ruin my new table. This is the vat for my um, 3D resin printer standing right here. Because I need to put a new uh, film over it. I can show you. Up, oh, sorry about that. So I can try show you. There is like a thin... I don't know if you can see that. There is a thin film on there and I need to put another one on this one because this one has a hole so uh, I get resin all over when I use that one so I need to change that. But there are so many screws on that and I don't feel like doing it so I haven't done it yet. But that is my reserve one so it's all fine. I have my Dremel, my new Dremel lying here so it's right by my hand. That is my uh, drawing book for when I am drawing sense angle on my channel. Uh, some nesting dolls that I have to do something about and uh, some of these heart shapes that I have been using for my sense angle. And behind there, this one, that's my new Dremel torch for uh, making um, different things. Uh, I actually got it for uh, soldering because uh, the one I have has a long cord and it's annoying and in the way when I'm soldering and this one is cordless, I will show you one day. Then up here I have a lot of drawers and in all of these drawers I have molds, different kind of molds and uh, I've labeled every drawer. It's in Danish so I'm sorry you won't understand it but I have picture frames, leaves and flowers. I have kids lamps and toys. Um, um, uh, I don't know the word for that one. Fish and animals, footwear for the house or for the lady in the house, glass and bottles, vegetables, fruit, Halloween, ice cream and um, wipe cream, whipped cream. Christmas, Easter, kransake uh, and bread. Uh, that's a dip, um, That's one of those uh, New Year cakes, layer cakes, uh, sweets and uh, goodies, candies, um, um, marmalade, and um, knives, forks, spoons, stuff like that. Small cakes, um, cookies. Things for the house, things in 1 to 144, plates, uh, molds for plates. I have flock powders, uh, lots, lots, lots of flock powders. There I have different things like shapes and, no, like, um, what do you call those? Uh, I forgot the word, uh, but paper trays so you can always make new ones. Pearl eggs. Glitter powder. Uh, I have different mold shapes right here, in different shapes. Then I have a few empty ones, and I have some more pearl eggs. I have these. Uh, again, I don't know the word for those, because uh, they are good if you have something running or, um, yeah, they're actually pretty good to everything. Hot glue. I have clamps. And down here I have all my old, um, let me see if I can find one for you. I have all my old uh, shapes where I am taking molds from. So all the originals are in there, packed up in the um, places they go, like kitchen, cookies, stuff like that. 
I have a few tools, some double-sided tape, all my glue is standing here and I have my sticks with the double-sided tape on ready for when I'm needing those uh, small paper uh, stacks for um, putting glue on and stuff like that. Then I have all my topping, uh, dessert topping master standing right here at that shelf and my um, extruder. I have this cookie shaped, uh, no, I have this circle shaped um, ruler thingy where I can mark my cook cookies, my cakes when I need to cut them into cake slices. I have a few tiles that I'm working on here, but here I have all the things that I'm using for salt, pepper, sugar, ice and stuff like that. My petticoat scale. I have a few small nail art um, decal papers in there and a few things that I have been working on. And that's an upcoming video and here we have some things that I have been working on lately. Then we have this one over here. I have all my clays in here, all the ones that I am working with. I have small plastic bags here for packing boxes, for packing my uh, different things for going to the sales exhibitions. Then up here, the first one is a really, really bad book nook that I got from my husband. Uh, for my birthday and I will make that one over. I'm gonna try to pull that apart and see if I can use it for something awesome. I have some glue, I have some cleaner for my 3D printer and another glue, a stamp for my gel press for using that. I have a stand for my hot glue gun. I'm not using that very much but I have it. I have this thing with uh, two claws on here for uh, helping me with holding stuff. I have a small hammer and my easy cutter. Then I have a few resin things in that one. Here I have a few paints, some baby powder that can come in handy here and there, and some light, um, what do you call those, LED lights. I have my um, create a sticker roll right here. Some tools that I'm always bringing when I go into, uh, when I go to the club. We have a club here where we are making miniature together. Some dried flowers that I use here and there. And then I have this special thing for knives. So every time I have used a knife blade, I am popping it in there and I can, uh, get rid of that in the right way. Uh, I have some mold putties for clear molds and a magnifier from my father and some pictures I did. So that's up there. I think that's everything around here. So that's my work table. Oh yeah, I have a few boxes right here for sending out orders. That is things for my sales exhibitions. I just have that right here because I just went to one in um, late February. So I need to go through that one. And here I have all my yarn that I'm bringing to the sales exhibition. And I have a lot of different pieces of uh, small wood standing in that one. My dad made that one. The box here or the... Um, the vase, he made that one. My sewing machine. Then over here I have some sewing things, needles and stuff like that, sewing threads and stuff like that. And I have these, they are actually pretty neat. So that is for sorting your puzzle pieces. And there are, I think there are six uh, boxes in there in the shapes in these shapes and they are amazing for when you are making puzzles but they are also amazing for when you are creating stuff at your table to put everything in one of those boxes and you have them right by hand. I have my uh, die cut, some die cut plates, uh, my die cut uh, cutting board 
and more die cut plates and I have a few different pieces of different papers in this one and then I have a book with ideas. Then I have this shelf unit that is from my father-in-law and I filled that up with a few different 3D prints and some other stuff as you can see. I have my cup uh, heater for making cups. I don't know why that fell down. Stop! So I have some bubble wrap with small hearts on. That's so cute. I like that one. Uh, for again when I am uh, selling my stuff online. There I have the um, charger for my Dremel so that it can be charged. My cup maker, it's a, um, ah, what do you call that? It's a high temperature thing so you put your cup in there and the uh, sublimation prints turns into kind of a gas form and puts uh, and this gas form is going to sit onto the cup so you just place your cup in there and this one is going to like really cramp around the cup uh, while it is heating it up and my heat press and of course my big 3d printer and my dollhouse um, but back here I have this cabinet here that is full with my camera bag and some t-shirts for sublimation prints. I have some books and ideas and some candy. Then I have my 3D pen because I have one of those and the bag for my Dremel if I need to take it with me. In here I have all the things for my 3D printer cleaning extra um, um, heads for my 3D printer, the filament printer. I have tools and hench, uh, what do you call those, uh, for when I'm working with my heat press and my uh, cup heater. And I have the how-to books here and of course I have a new one to put on the heater if it's breaking down. And I'm sorry I cannot get these drawers that much out. All my sewing stuff, sewing thread, a few yarns, some fillings and stuff like that. Then I have a tiny sewing machine. I got that from my father-in-law. Uh, I inherited that one. And a few things. I actually think this is stuffing again. It is. And there is actually some self-adhesive um, book paper right here. Uh, that I got from a second-hand store. I just didn't use that for anything yet. And then I have uh, the uh, the car is for my dolls. And then I have a lot of these cleaning wipes. They are good to get um, adhesive removed. They are actually from my father. He had uh, strom stromia. I don't know what that called. But uh, he used those to clean out the adhesive before he put a new one on. That is not mine. That is not mine. Then I have all my filament that have been opened. They are right here. And I have a few right here that I did not open. I have a garbage can for plastic only so that I can recycle that one. Then over here, let me see if I can get that in the picture, we have my dollhouse. Then I have my Christmas dollhouse. I have one up there that is the Christmas snowy house we make together live. I'm trying to sell that one. Then I have all my oil pen paints. Oil paints in that one. That horse, I got that one for my dolls from my daughter. And I think it's beautiful. And this bag or box here, I got that from the sale exhibition here in February that's filled with flowery things for a miniature. Um, I just didn't really look through that one yet. My picture booth and some packaging. Again, I have these bubble wraps everywhere. And then I have a few things here that I made for the sales exhibition. 
and I got my Livy Livy Levy wand here. I'm not good at that, but I do have it. Of course, my big dollhouse, the Christmas box, the one we made together. Then I have um, this little creative, the workshop actually, I think it's called, where uh, there is this little dollhouse being made with all the stuffs. Um, and I have a few of my small tin boxes here. Let me see if I can show you a few of my tin boxes. I have the one we are working on right now for live and the ones we are going to make later. I have my 3D printed kitchen and of course Eevee and Pikachu and the Pokeball that I have. This is not Lego but it's a wannabe Lego and I really adore these. Um, yeah, I'm a Pokemon fan. Not like I'm a crazy Pokemon fan. So in here I have um, like a ton of things. I have stickers. I have a silver tape. I hope to use that for the roof of the little uh, house standing on the table. I have a glass dome. I hope to do something in one day. I have uh, crayons to make candles. Um, I have different things that I have been making. I'm making um, lucky packs of this bags, lucky bags, uh, blind bags of these for my customers. I have small boxes that I like. I have different hole punchers here, hole punchers in really, really tiny and hole punchers in big so I can hang things uh, again when I'm out on my sales exhibition. I have another hole puncher with a butterfly on here. Stickers. Um, these are one times um, washcloth that I use for paddings. There's nothing in that one. That one is empty. I have some uh, silver middle foil here and I have some self-adhesive um, metal foils. I have some things for my um, paint palette and down here I have all my ribbons in that is two millimeters no wait three millimeters no that's two millimeters ribbon let me see if I can get all this back in there then I have all my different kinds of glues here I have some of these uh, adhesive remover right there I have my silicon mold putty right here and I have some clamps I use when I'm making small bags. And here I have a camera that I just got from my husband. This is actually to put into the sewer to see if you lost something or if it's uh, filled with stuff. But I 3D printed the square and made this handle here for it so I can use it as a little camera. So I can get uh, really close up pictures in my... Uh, dollhouse so I'm working on a tutorial no on a tour on my dollhouse so you can see everything in there I got some hooks for Christmas stuffs and I got some um, matches for turning on my small candles when I'm making bags and then I have this drawer filled with stuff I have my um, price tags in this one and the other two here is empty then I have all my wrist clay the ones that I did not open yet a total new brand uh, box with white polymer clay only white in there and translucents and blue and gray and red and purple and stuff like that um, that is for when I am needle felting I have a few oops these are glow-in-the-dark powders. Uh, I have a few of these for when I'm making resin. That's just some beads. That was empty. This is a gold powder that I got from my mom uh, again after she died. That is uh, really, really, really fine. Um, and I can use that for making resin things. So I have glitter, a few colors and some resin tape, some shaker oil, um, few different kinds of resin. 
I have small beads because I'm here and there making beads animals. I haven't done that for a long time. Here I have all my resin molds and I have even more in that one. Stickers for resin. So that's all there is in that drawer. Then we go to this one. Here I have all the yarn that I sell on my sales exhibition. They are nicely packed in a tray here. I'm not going to show you because it's annoying to take in and out, but it's there. I have a box here with a lot of small tiny things that I'm selling on my uh, sales ex exhibition. Sorry about that. Then I have some um, um, fabric bags that I'm selling stuff in. I have some small plastic bags that I'm using for making plastic bags and I have some plastic boxes, some paper bags for my blind bags. Um, I think that one has um, that one has this um, when I'm I'm getting my yarn on big rolls and then I'm placing that on the floor and letting my rolls stand upon this one and then I can just wrap it around the smaller ones that I'm selling. Then I got like uh, carried a little away with my needle felting. I'm not doing that too often but I have more than enough to do that every day in a very long time if I want to. I don't know if I have anything down here. I have. So I have lots of different kinds of wood sticks. I have some oil paint. Uh, that is the cleaner or thinner. I have my uh, mother of pearl um, bricks, small bags that I use again for selling and these two are actually for making some scenery in there. I just didn't get to that one yet. So that's that one. Over here I got all my things for Lori, my big girl. She is right here sleeping right now. I got uh, spare things for her. And if you want to see more about that, you can go on my other channel. I will link in the info box below for that. Because I am making a lot of stuff for her. Or, well, I did. I don't do much for her right now. Um, that's a little sad because I got all these goodies that I got for her. Uh, and lots of those I actually designed and knitted myself. So these are filled with things of hers and so on. So I got all that here. And please do ask if you see something you'd like to see better. Then I have um, a sleeping face for my little girl, a dress, the original dress for her, some cleaning for her. I have a kitchen table for the big girl with uh, working drawers. Some of them are. Uh, and they are filled. Then I have a chair that I made. I have the big, big piano that I made for her with a really working lid for the uh, piano and the piano bench. I have a table and a chair, 3D printed. I have this furniture that is one of my favorite ones. It's a writing uh, furniture with working drawers everywhere. Everything is working on this one. Okay, I can't get to that. Then I have this little table for the... Uh, I forgot the word of that. The LP player, record, record player, that I also made myself for a stop motion video. And then this one is just a mess of different things. I have my doll that I use when I am making new recipes for clothing for the the Barbies. So that's here. I have a bicycle, I have a motorcycle, I have a cabinet and another cabinet and clothing and a LOL doll and some stuffed animals I made myself. So that's just lots of different things. And the last one is just gift wrapping. So you don't want to see that one. So I think that was most of it for this room tour. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have questions, please feel free to ask me and I will see if I can help you. So I am going to sign off here. Have a nice day 
and I will see you in a week. Bye!